Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the XMM registers and its usage. And you'll be looking at some instructions such as this where it makes use of the XMM register over here, like this. So in order to facilitate this video, I written a simple program using Visual Studio Code a C program where you can see there is a struct here which has got four members. The first three members are integers and the fourth member of the struct is a double. And I have also used a main function here to initialize the members of the struct with a 1, 2, 3 and for the double uh, value I've initialized it with 9.9, .9, a floating point number. And I have gone ahead to print the value over here by using the printf function which comes from the stdio library of the C, C program. So after compiling this, I've got a file here which is called the global struct exe. So when I run this file, I will get the following output 9.9. .9. So this 9.9 .9 is coming from this printf statement. So now I'm going to use xdbg to reverse engineer this uh, global struct exe. So since this is a 64-bit program, you need to use the 64-bit version of your xdbg. So I open the program. I've already done it before, so I just need to click reload. And my option settings are as follows. Just enable entry breakpoint and I'll leave all the rest unchecked. Now over here you have seen I already obviously done this before. That's why there is some syntax highlighting in green, which I enable by clicking tracing trace record word so that I can turn on the green highlighting. And now I have got to locate the part of the assembly where the initialization of the structure is taking place. So I'm now going to look for this uh, initialization inside the code. So what I did was I step over it like this, step over it, and then I step into this call. And then here I step over this. You see, you can see the green highlighted parts uh, where I've already traced before. So I put some comments. After tracing this, I found that this line here is where the call is being made and uh, to show the 9.9 .9, which you see in the output. So now we shall run directly to there by selecting this line and then click on debug, run to selection. So now we are here, I'm going to step into this. So I click on this to step into it. And here is where you can see the function that initializes the structure. So this is our main function here. So this is our main function which corresponds to this part here, the main function. So you can put it side by side, you can see my dot my s is referring to this uh, struct and dot x is assessing the first member and you're assigning one and you can see it happening here. One is assigned to this uh, structure. So this is the address of the structure in memory. So if you want to see this in memory, all you need to do is select this now and you can go to the address here at ending with C040. So you just right click on this, follow in dumb. Make sure you dumb one is selected. Right click on this, follow in dumb, address ending with C040 and, and you can see now it's zero. So now we are going to step over this. So we click on this. So now notice what happens. At the moment in memory it is zero. So when you step over this, it is assigned one to that location. So that is the variable here. So this is a variable for this member. My x, my s dot x is assigned one. So now it's going to assign two to the second member. So to assess second member, you just have to click on this and then you will see it here. Now select dump two. You can see presently it's zero. So we are going to look at the memory for this address. So right click, follow in dump this address and you can see presently is zero and now we are going to step over this so two is assigned 
and you can see now two is assigned two is assigned to this uh, my s dot y which is the second member of the struct and now we are going to assign three to the third member of the struct so we are going to go to that memory address so make sure you select down three first click on this address and then over here you can right click on this follow in dump this address and you can see presently is zero now we step over this it's going to assign three to that uh, memory so we step over and you can see three is assigned there so at this point in time you've already assigned three uh, all the three integer values to the first three members of the struct next is going to assign 9.9 .9 to the fourth member but when you come to this it is a floating point so for floating point it makes use of the XMM register so what is XMM register you can read about it in the in the by googling for it the XMM register are known as streaming SIM extensions so streaming SIM extension SSE is a single instruction multiple data instruction set extension to the x86 architecture designed by Intel and introduced in 1999 in their Pentium 3 series of CPUs and so on. So from now on we can see that it has got all this additional 128 bits register. So there are 15 of them in the latest uh, CPUs you have 15 XMM registers and you can see them by going to your XDBG and scrolling down and you can see all the 15 XMM registers which are 128 bits wide now 128 bits is 16 bytes 16 bytes so it's a double keyword now remember a keyword is 8 bytes so each of these is a keyword the 8 bytes but here you have double keyword so it's 16 bytes or 128 bits so it makes use of this special instruction when you are moving any data from uh, the memory to uh, XMM register you move you use the move SD command instruction and move SD you can refer to the reference over here at this uh, location we have the this website where you have this excellent website by this gentleman where he has graciously listed the list of all the x86 and and S64 instruction reference. So move SD, you can scroll down and go to move SD. You can see here. Move SD. There are two move SD. One is for the, the normal 32 bit and one is a 64 bit uh, SSE register. So move SD here is where you are moving a scalar double precision floating point value. And you can click on that and you can see the instruction here. Or all the detailed instructions. So I've summarized it for you here. So move you have move SD where you move uh, lowest copies the lowest 64 bits or keyword or 8 bytes of the XMM register. For example, move keyword the value at this address to the XMM register. So this is an example here. So when you are moving 8 bytes uh, of a value, you use move SD. And then you also have move SS. Move SS where is where, where is where you're moving only a D word, four bytes of the XMM register. For example, here if this was a four byte of a address value, then you will move it, you use move SS. Alright, so that's that's what you are looking at here. So you can actually uh, inspect the value at this memory before it moves. So you can click on this now, and over here you can see it is showing 9.9. 9.9 is the floating point value starting is being stored at this address. And you can see in the, in the memory dump. So let's click dump number 4 now and go there and see. So right click on this, follow in dump this value or uh, this address. So you can see now, you can see this uh, hex representation of uh, floating point 9.9. .9. And if you wanted to see in a different uh, uh, different format, you can right click here and then select presently is hex s key hex s key is what you're seeing like this if you want to see the double floating point you just right click here and then go to the menu select floating double double floating point 64 bit or 8 bytes all right so how do you know it's 8 bytes because it's stated here move sd and here it says uh, 
double floating point USD. So we click on this, go to double, and then you can see 9.9. .9. If you want to go back, just right click, hex S key. So this is how you can change the view over here. And you can see it's 9.9. 9.9 is being stored at this address, right? So this address is storing this 9.9. .9. So now it's going to move this to XMM0, the first uh, XMM register. So now let's step over this and see it happening. So when I step over this, you can see 9.9 .9 is there. So 4023CCCCCCCD is actually the hex representation of 9.9. .9. You can confirm it by changing this back to hex. Right click, going to hex as key and you can see 4023CCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCCC
right so if you click on this you will see the instructions the explanation here like this so move apd stands for move align pack double precision footing so what it does is you are move you are copying xmm to another xmm that's why you move apd so uh, my notes have summarized it for you move apd copies one M xmm register to another xmm register for example like this so this is what we are seeing here move a xmm0 to xmm1 so as at the moment xmm0 is having this 9.9 .9. now we're going to step over this is going to copy this into xmm1 so let's step over and you can see now it's copied over like that and then uh, next is going to move rx to rdx again uh, another redundant operation nothing will happen because rdx and rdx are already having the same values so let's step over it anyway all right next is going to load the format specifier into memory uh, percentage 1f which is coming from here percentage 1f is a format specifier in c programming where it will be replaced with the value to show one one decimal place that's why you have a dot 1f which means one decimal place and presumably uh, all this this move here is to prepare for this call and this call is actually a printf uh, function yeah, which is a high level implementation of the printf function in the c program so it's actually printf so this is actually printf so when i step over this now you will see uh, step over this now you can see the Let's execute to return. Execute to return and step over. I will come back here. And you see, when I step over this call, I get 9.9. .9. That means this is a printf function. This is how you can understand XMM registers. I hope uh, this was helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching.